Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's some weird noises in the background. It's my grandchildren. I got two three-year-olds today. They're cousins, best friends. One's a boy, one's a girl, and the boy, of course, has got to show off for the girl. <laughs> Anyways, they're arguing over the tablet. The Schumann resonance is real low today, showing that the Earth's magnetic field is low. Seems to be an increase in earthquakes today. Ridgecrest, Coast Hill, volcanic area is having an earthquake swarm as i was putting this together uh, looking up information yeah it kept climbing 39 earthquakes today there was a magnitude 3.6 earthquake there uh, 14 kilometers northeast of ridgecrest this earthquake was 2.7 miles um, they measure it from sea level so that was a very shallow earthquake a magnitude 3.6 again and another 3.6 today, uh, 15 kilometers east northeast of Ridgecrest. That one was about 5.6 miles in depth. I've talked about the Earth magnetic field, and as we get closer to a magnetic reversal, you know, north and south will reverse, and it's not going to happen overnight. Once it reaches a certain point of weakness, uh, the magnetic field will snap just like a rubber band and will bounce around to different places on the earth like divots on a golf ball until it makes its full reversal. The last time that happened, uh, scientists say it was either 2,000 years or 20,000 years that it took for the reverse to fully take effect. And during that time, uh, yeah, there was a lot of great earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Now, the red lines that I have drawn out here were from uplift that was reported, I believe, a July of this year. Yeah, you can see, yeah. Um, they're doing the um, geothermal there by the Coast Coast Volcanic Field. You wouldn't have uplift like this um, unless magma was coming into the system now these two 3.6s they were in pro close proximity of each other there's Ridgecrest there's the China Lake military uh, base a lot of scientists will try and tell you that these earthquakes are aftershocks from that earthquake what in June hogwash now it's up to 40 earthquakes in the last 24 hours the last one being a 2.3 again by Ridgecrest you can see it up here. In the last week, there has been over 400 earthquakes in this area. Now you notice these quakes here going down. This is a fault zone that has recently showing creep, recently activated, which it hasn't done before. Now we got Bakersfield over there. This is the Garluck fault zone. It runs into, and they think it's actually part an extension of the St. Andreas fault zone. We have an S bend down here that's locked. Pressure has been building. And you know, those that follow me know that any large earthquake, scientists know for a fact, will trigger earthquakes on joining fault zones. When that earthquake, that large earthquake that occurred in June ruptured, scientists had no doubt, they had to admit that that earthquake had reactivated many fault zones in this area a lot of them they didn't that they didn't even know that it existed maybe it was July July 6 7.1 what they had said in the past pressure from the North American plate slowly moving uh, kind of west south direction up over here by Death Valley was putting pressure on this area and that what that's what was causing earthquake I disagree I think they got magma rising up in this area yeah if you look at the uplift I didn't draw the lines completely over to the other direction of the uplift that they had reported for this area but you can tell that it's a circle I know my grandchildren the the boy and the girl are really hyper when they get together after not seeing each other for maybe a week or two and Lord, they're hyper today, but also is my cats. Yeah, the one cat. Yeah, he's been going, or she's been going crazy, the kitten. So we probably got more earthquakes that are happening. Children and animals are earthquake sensitive. I'm sure a lot of people there in Ridgecrest are doing what they can to earthquake prepare their homes, uh, bolting their cupboards to the wall, fastening the uh, hot water heaters. Hopefully you have tools handy um, 
to get them quickly to turn off the gas lines because large earthquakes do create explosions. Uh, cell phone towers could go out when the power goes out. It might be hard to call for emergency services for help. You know, and that's not just for the Ridgecrest area. That's for any er area. Yeah, people need to have a plan and be prepared for any type of disaster. Look at the tornadoes that went through yesterday. Yeah, one school was destroyed. Thank God that none of the children were injured. So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. I'm also on Patreon and I have a PayPal uh, account. I'm also on BitChute. But BitChute only allows me to upload three videos a day. But a good way is to subscribe to uh, my Patreon account. And you can see all the recent videos on there too. I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. I think we're going to see more of the same next year in 2020. I think we're going to see an increase in these earthquakes and volcanic activity. Please be prepared. Do what you can. Every little bit helps. Please stay safe. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.